Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu, wa salamu ala muslimah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and welcome to Rabd al Shubuhat. In this short video, we just want to spend a few moments with you in bidding farewell to that generous and noble and honorable guest, the month of Ramadan. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this month be spent it in the service of Allah, trying to draw close to Him to the best of our abilities, and that this noble and honorable guest did not leave us without being able to take back to its master a report of goodness on our behalf. We pray that this noble guest, this great caravan of goodness that came and visited us and offered to us all the goodness that it contained, that we took some benefit some great benefit that we're able to take with us until we meet again. That we can take the good, the khayrat that this month has given us and offered us and nurture it until we meet this month again and able to take from it again its generous gifts that it comes with and bestows upon those who take advantage of it. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us in this noble month to draw close to Him and to draw close to his book, the Quran, and to draw close to the ibadat that we experience in this month of Ramadan, and that we can continue all of these actions outside of the month of Ramadan. The question we want to ask is how can you go back? How can you go back to not praying when you prayed all the prayers and you prayed them in the masjid and you prayed even extra prayers? How can you go back to not being patient and tolerant when you was patient and tolerant for food and drink and activities with your spouses and your behavior throughout the month of Ramadan? How can you go back to not being the same way that you were in the month of Ramadan? How can you go back to neglecting the family ties that you may have uh, neglected before the month of Ramadan but that you be joined and connected during the month of Ramadan? How can you go back to ways that are displeasing to Allah after you spent a month in the training of rectifying your soul and your character to become a better human being, how can you go back to a way other than that that you experienced in the month of Ramadan? The month of Ramadan, alhamdulillah, it came and it has gone. And the Muslims, we experience the joy when it comes and we experience the joy also at its end because we, we are anticipating the Eid. But at the same time, when it leaves, we experience, and rightfully so, a sadness that prevails over us because we know that this month will not come again until another year, and we know not whether or not we will be able to visit that month or it visit us in the year coming. No one has guaranteed anything in his life other than to pass, pass, to pass by in his life, to pass on from his life. And if this is the only guarantee that we have, then it is upon us to take advantage of every moment that we have, and especially every moment that we experience in the best month of Ramadan. We wanted to share these thoughts with you. We wanted to bring some features for you of what we have experienced in this month, and for us to take it and continue it outside of this month. Muslims, be happy, be rejoiced, at the fact that you have just completed not only the month of Ramadan, but also completed the Quran, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in this month of Ramadan. The Quran in the month of Ramadan has been completed in its entirety from Al Fatiha to Nas at least tens of thousands of times in this month of Ramadan throughout the world. What a beautiful thing to accomplish in the month of Ramadan for those who have accomplished it, for those who went to the prayer and stand behind the Imam for Isha and Tarawih throughout the month of Ramadan, you heard the entirety of the Qur'an. You heard the Qur'an being recited from its beginning to its end. And this has occurred in tens of thousands of masajid throughout the world. This is a blessing, this is a gift, and this is a miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to this Ummah. Don't give this blessing up. Don't give this miracle up after the month of Ramadan leave. Continue this blessing, continue to pursue Read and spend time with the Book of Allah and draw close to Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Continue to do your ibadat and stand to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and beg Him for His mercy and His forgiveness and His compassion upon us 
not only in the month of, in the month of Ramadan, but also outside the month of Ramadan. Continue all the goodness that you gave in the month of Ramadan, the charities and the extra charities and the things you've done, there's a Catholic filter. Continue all of these goodness that you've done in the month of Ramadan, continue them also outside of the month of Ramadan. This is what we wanted to bring, just a small reminder, a short reminder, and the sadness is overwhelming for us, and we are experiencing the, the departure of the month of Ramadan, like we experience the departure of a beloved family member who has visited us and now departed. But nonetheless, we have to carry on, and we hope that the visit that we had with the month of Ramadan was indeed a great one, a beneficial one, one full of blessing, one full of benefit, one full of khair, and one full of success from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that whoever experiences the month of Ramadan and have not had his sins forgiven has indeed really lost. So we hope that in this month that we have experienced a great deal of good and that Allah has forgiven for our sins. We pray that Allah has rewarded us with our endeavors to try to stay and attain the night of power in which Allah has blessed this night to be greater than the worship of a thousand months. All of the goodness that Ramadan brings with it, we pray and we hope that Allah bless us with it and that next year we will be even a better host than we were this year and that the month of Ramadan next year will be able to take back to its master even greater goodness to be put on, on our behalf than it reported for us in this year. هذا وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أستغفرك وأتوب إليك May you all have a blessed and joyous Eid um, Be blessed and be happy and be joyful with your family and loved ones in your community and may Allah bless the Muslims in this month of Ramadan or after Ramadan and may Allah bless the Muslims to return back to his deen, a beautiful return. May this Eid be a joyous one for all the Muslims throughout the world. And may Allah take them out of the fitna that they are being tried with and bring them into a return to him and a joy and a security that they have experienced before in the past. This is what we wanted to present. Please share, uh, like, and subscribe. And enjoy your Eid, O Muslims. And now Muslims, we invite you to the path of Islam to, to enjoy what the Muslims have just enjoyed and more in the deen of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.